This video looks at the best pins or Osai Komi victories in women's judo over the last month. And we're going to start things off with Haruka Funakubo. She's the only lady in this list who has her own pin hold named after her. So we're going to see a Funakubo Katame. Her left hand has grabbed her opponent's jacket under the belt. And she pulls that across her opponent's side and she reaches over with her right hand and grabs hold of the belt and is able to pull her opponent onto her back for the Osai Komi, the hold down victory. So I haven't included Funa Tanaki's win in this list as I already have a video on Funa Tanaki's match from this month so I'll leave a link to that Funa Tanaki video You've probably already seen it since it's one of the more popular ones on my channel. Here's Funakubo again. In both of these clips, she's able to control her opponent's right sleeve. Here she used the Kochigari. Her opponent really had nowhere to go. I don't know whether she nibbled her on the thigh there. Looked to me like she did can play that back and decide for yourself and let me know in the comments whether you think Klimkate bit Funakubo on the thigh. This was a big victory for Funakubo. I think Klimkate's probably the person to beat at the World Championships in this division and Funakubo has done so in their last three meetings. So Polares from Austria. So she did get a submission here, but I'm going to class it as Osai Komi. So hoozing a roll, trapping the arm, rolling over the shoulder. And there was a submission, but I think it's more just a submission due to the Osai Komi. It doesn't look like she's applying any extra pressure towards that elbow to force the tap. Now the Italian girl, Kana, tempts Seo Otoshi, then immediately comes through with a Katagatame style turnover, is able to free her leg, move into a nice Katagatame pin victory. So I'm going to have another video tomorrow, it's going to be a fairly short video, it's going to look at very rarely seen arm lock in judo. His Bukharit of Germany against a very defensive opponent. So initially she tries for the Sankaku turnover, then switches to an attack on the arm. Looks like she's going for a Huzinga roll of her own, then switches back to an attempted Sankaku turnover. And finally gets to Tate Shiho Gatame, but it's not over yet. This Tate Shiho Gatame wasn't uh, particularly tight, so her opponent was able to get free. But we're not finished yet. She then moves in for the Shiba Lock. Now usually when I see people escape this Shiba Lock, it's because they're not able to keep the opponent's arm bent, but Bukharite has the grip of her opponent by the back using her right hand and that's stopping her opponent being able to turn towards the left. Now here is Rishoni from Israel with a very nice Yoko Sankaku Gatame win. So in this one the opponent does actually submit but the referee doesn't notice the submission. So it does look like it's an extremely tight hold you can see the hips are right in on one side of the neck. You'll see at first she taps with the left hand, or she at least attempts to, 
And then she later switches to trying to attack with the right hand, but the referee doesn't notice. Roshoni tries to attract the attention of the ref, but the ref still doesn't notice. And then eventually the 22nd Osai Komi count is up and Roshoni is the winner. So we started off with two Japanese victories, both from Funakubo, and we'll end with two victories by Israeli girls. This is Inba Lanier. You've probably seen her with her big Uranage KO on my channel recently. And she's winning here with Ushiro Kesagatame. So tomorrow's video is going to look at a very rarely seen arm lock. See you then. Subscribe for more non-stop Nawaza.